What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning into the farmhouse today. So today I'm going to do a review on the 2020 Kawasaki Mule. Uh, I picked this up uh, probably a year ago. It's completely stock other than I put the windshield on it and I put some rear view mirrors on it. Um, I wanted to wait to do a review to uh, you know see how I actually liked it and how it performed. Uh, no sense in doing a review if I didn't know anything about it. So here we go. This is the, uh, like I said, 2020 Kawasaki Mule. It is a 800. It's actually a 812 cc. It's a four-stroke motor, um, three-cylinder. It's got the double overhead cam. Um, yeah, what's it got? Let's see. We got wishbone suspension it's got um, disc brakes all around um, what else is there to say there's all kinds of cool things about this it's got this little um, little compartment here this is uh, you got your coolant in there it's got these extra cords right there extra plugs to where you can um, add accessories like light bars everything it's already wired you just tie into those right there and uh they make it pretty simple for you it's got um four headlights the two big ones are halogens and then it's got the two uh the two led it has a four thousand pound worn vantage winch which i've got a lot of use out of it actually you can see <laughs> i've actually bent this thing um i did get it stuck once pretty seriously um, I wish it had more aggressive tires on it. Um, that's kind of one of the downfalls, but for my yard and everything I do out here, I suppose I would be uh, tearing the grass up a lot more. Um, it has um, 36 by 11 um, R12 for tires. It's got um, alloy rims. Uh, one good thing I really, the biggest selling point uh, for my wife and I getting this was it's a six seater uh, and we need the seats we have four children but watch how easy I can convert this even one-handed I can convert this so you just undo these latches on the side pull these up then you just flip the bed up or the seat up Lift the seat up like that, and then you just push this forward. And it actually will fit a full-size skid once you uh, get this all opened up. Just like that, and then these just go back down. So it's pretty simple. I mean, I'm doing it one-handed right now. There it is, it's all latched. Um, I actually broke, this had some little, let me show you this real quick. This had some little rubber straps on it and I actually broke both of those off. So I just put bungee cords around it to hold it. But what you do is you pop these bungee cords off, then this part of the roof, you can see the hinge right there, that part of the roof will flip up flip up that way you can uh, tip the bed and everything it's got a tilt bed see how it hit right there if you don't take the roof but yeah it's super simple I'm lifting that up literally with three fingers but uh, yeah all in all I'm super impressed with this thing it uh, it'll do it does 48 miles per hour it's governed at 48 miles per hour um, obviously I haven't messed with any of that it comes with a three-year warranty which is probably the best warranty you can get with a side-by-side -side. Uh, the Kawasaki mule I believe is the only one that offers a three-year warranty with it so obviously that was a big selling point um, what else can I show you here uh, right here you have your little I'm not gonna pop it off but you just pop this off right here you got your battery access right there um, gas it's a 7.9 uh, 7.9 gallon 
gas tank in it and this thing sips gas um i literally we had it up north this summer and i literally i think we did 60 some miles with it and i think i lost one bar so let me show you the inside here so got 648 miles on it um, it's actually got the I mean of course it's got the selectable selectable four-wheel drive right there it's got a rear differ differential lock uh, these are your lights this is your low beam halogen high beam halogen low beam LED high beam LED uh, you got your winch actually right here it's got the remote control the winch I think it's a 10 foot cable on it so when you want to use the winch you hook it in right here and you stand outside the cart or you can do it manually with this one but um, another thing I didn't really I didn't really like about this pretty much my only complaint with this thing is the parking brake I literally I mean you forget it's on sometimes and you take off and I maybe did it three times but I had to go bring it in and get the parking brake adjusted they adjusted it and I don't even think I forgot it on and drove with it and it just doesn't work again so I got to look into that I got to figure out how to adjust it um, myself so I don't have to bring it in but uh, yeah overall I absolutely love this thing um, it's got this underneath the seat here. You got all this storage down here. The uh, bed. The bed will hold, uh, they say 1,575 pounds is the load capacity in the bed. It's got a 2,000 pound uh, towing capacity. Um, the thing is a beast. I mean, it's... It'll pretty much go anywhere. Um, the time I got it stuck, I was pretty much being stupid with it and was trying to see what it would take to get it stuck. And I found out and I had, uh, I had one of my buddies help me pull it out and we kind of bent that winch up a little bit, but it's got six, six seat belts. So obviously six people. Um, yeah, those mirrors I put on there, I think I got those for like 15 bucks a piece. Those are priceless, especially going down the gravel roads out here, um, knowing what's coming up behind you. And I put this windshield on there, which that windshield is also priceless. Uh, that windshield was really expensive. I think it was like 350 bucks or something like that. But you can flip it down. It, it hinges right there, obviously. And you can flip it down or you can flip that part up. The only thing with that is when you flip this part up, this thing is in your line of sight. I didn't. I don't really care for that. But uh, like when we had it up north this summer, I just took it off. I mean, it was it was beautiful. But when it gets chilly and you want to go for a cruise, that windshield, just like I said, is priceless. So yeah, let's uh, let's take it for a little spin real quick. Obviously got some tail lights, brake lights. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot more I can really tell you about it. Yeah, the suspension, like going through, going through um, ruts and the ditches and everything, the suspension is awesome. It is so smooth, so so smooth. Oh, when I hold on. When I put that bed back up, I forgot to latch these. I don't really think you have to have them on there, but they, uh, they'll rattle and it'll drive you crazy. So gotta make sure you snap those and then we'll take it for a little spin. It does have a, uh, it's got kind of a, a wide, I don't know, I guess wide word I'm looking for. Large, large maybe, turning radius. Uh, 
it's 16 foot turning radius, so I mean, you do need a little room to turn it around, but let's see if I can go through here without running into my vehicles.